as you guys always know, I look at I look at names and things like this. The last time was in homage to his favorite YouTuber. So now he put me in there. That makes me feel so special. Thanks, US. Hey guys, I'm Layla. So today we have a showcase for Korgar Death Bell, courtesy of US. US, thank you very much. We're gonna be running him in Hydra. Hell Hydra. And he does look, he looks nasty, huh? What do you guys think? He looks really cool. I like how his ax is glowing. They've got this, oh, these, these guys got things about skulls. Actually, it's the orc that do. Not necessarily the ogren, right? Like, this is different for ogren. Usually it's the orcs that have these skulls. But, I mean, I think he does look really, really neat. So before we get into Hydra, we are going to check out, like, his skills, abilities, masteries, and all that. So you are going to see that US has him in a relentless and a speed set. And look at that is we have all these refresh accessories as well, too. So I know that you guys like looking piece by piece. So let's start by the relentless set. So the relentless set is we do have some resistance and speed rolls on here as well, too, with some crit damage on the weapon. For the headpiece, looks like we did get some speed resistance and some defense. For the shield, we ended up getting triple speed on that. You love his look. Yeah, he looks really cool, right? And then so the last piece in Relentless are his boots, which are speed boots with some crit rate and accuracy. So move on to the speed set, starting with the gloves, which is HP percents. And we did get some more speed and crit damage and attack on that. And the chest piece is an HP percent chest piece with some speed rolls. So also keep in mind, guys, he's an HP champ, which is why we have HP percent on the chest piece and on the gloves as well. Now for the refresh accessories, looks like he got lucky here, huh? So we do have HP and we did get, you know, some defense and HP rolls on this. His amulet's a defense amulet with attack and resistance. And then his banner is gonna be a resistance with speed and HP as well. Now his abilities, for those of you not familiar with what he does, is his turn meter is what's gonna be really fun here against the Hydra. So his A1 is called Strange Animus, heals him by 10% of max HP. Bell's Toll is an AoE, has a chance of filling turn meters of allies by 30%. Also has a chance of removing all debuffs from allies, which is why we also have the, the refresh on there as well too. A3 is called with of Agonies, it's an ally protection and strength. And passive is Violence Locus, increases his resistance and defense for each ally protection. Also increases ally resistance as well too. Also counterattacks whenever an ally under ally protect is attacked. And his aura is gonna be ally HP in all battles by 30%. Now if looking at his stats, all right, here we are in the total stats as he has 79,000 HP, 1900 attack, 2800 defense, his speed's 283. We don't really need to worry about him being crit capped or having, you know, crit damage here, but he has a 408 on the resistance and 162 on the accuracy. And let's take a look at his masteries. So his masteries, we have the defense and the support trees with his T6 being timely intervention. So again, increases turn meter by 20% whenever an ally hero drops below 25% HP. So the idea on having the refresh accessories and on these masteries is we want as much turn meter manipulation for our team as possible and for Korrigar as well. All right, you guys, let's go take up into Hydra. All right, guys, here we are. Gonna be in Hydra hard, and here is the team. We have Duchess Sathalia, Astralon, Cecilia, Countess, and Korogar is the team that we have here. And let me show you their presets. Now, US, US has Happy Women's Day because I am recording this on International Women's Day. Thank you so much, US, I appreciate that. And same to you, anybody that is watching, Happy International Women's Day to you as well. So Duchess, we're gonna have her start with Spectral Rebirth, Revives, which, you know, she's first, right? Depending on where she is, so Veil Continuous Heal. And then Shroud of Souls is a block debuff, so does increase attack. Korgar, we're gonna do Bell's Toll, which fills the turn meters, right? It removes debuffs from allies on top of Conduit of Agonies, which is the ally protect and strengthen. So Thali, we saw her starting with her HP burn. Astralon is Light of Sanctity, which removes buffs. It also is Veil, Perfect Veil, and do a stun. We do like that, right? And Divine Imminence. 
Increase defense, strength, and ally protect. Countess Lick, so I have to be partner for this. We're gonna start with her Mire of Misery, which is an AOE decreased speed. Also decreases enemy turn rate, which is great. And then go into Time Dilation, which is an AOE block active skills. And then last but not least is Miss Cecilia. We're gonna do her Firestorm Right, which is HP burns. And then Flame Eruption, which is her blowy uppies. That's what we call them, blowy uppies, right? AOE weak and decreased defense, HP burn. Now, this should be just full auto, but again, the kind of the point with this one is having Korrigar with all of these turn meter increases, right? Like I said, that's why we have his mastery set up to pretty much speed up the turn meter. That's why we have all these refresh accessories on him, three pieces of refresh, trying to get him to do the, the turn meter manipulation for our team as many times as possible, along with the cleanse too, because he does take the debuffs off. And so we will see how uh, how we do and how much damage we can get here. Now, again, Korgar's gonna be an HP based champ. So it looks like he's probably gonna be here more for supports, which is completely fine. But it'll be fun to see that, see the turn meter and see how much damage we can pull off total. So what we're gonna do as usual is, I know these Hydra runs could take a while, so we'll kind of speed them up a little bit for YouTube, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, okay? That should do it. So there we go. We're at the one key on Hydra Hard. So we're going to stick with it and see how we do. Now, Countess is eaten. We do have a life egg there. All right. I mean, it looks like we'll get her back. Okay. I was getting a little worried for a minute there if they were able to get the life egg removed. But it looks like we should be able to get her back. Should. Yeah, 20 mil. There we go. All righty. She should be back shortly. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, I just want to point out, U.S. said when he was testing this comp out earlier and he wasn't paying attention, he just let them do their thing. They did 78 mil. For those of you guys watching on YouTube that were trying to predict how much damage was done. So we're, we're going to see. And as usual, we'll be back. Okay, guys, it's getting really close. Astralon? I don't know. I mean, he's stunned. He's stunned. It's possible. I don't know, guys. It's really close. Is Countess going to get her bay back? Are we going to get him back? Oh, he's gone. So our first casualty was Astralon. At 48 mil. First casualty was Astralon at 48 mil. All right. So let's see how much full damage we could do. Don't worry. We're about to decapitate this guy anyway. We're about to decapitate him. And it looks like Korrigar is next up. But there's our first casualty. Womp womp. It was Astralon. Let's okay. We'll target this head while we're there. There we go. All right. And as usual, guys, we will fast forward a bit. All right, Duchess has been eaten. Can we get her back? Ooh, maybe. Come on. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're okay. As long as we got Duchess, at least we can revive a bit here, right? So next up is going to be Cecilia. This head's almost gone. Getting close to that 60 mil. Ooh, life egg again? Bro, really? Why? Let's get back, my Cecilia. Oh, she's gone! No! Oh, no. There goes Countess. Oh, no, you guys. Are we not going to make it to 60? Uh-oh. I don't know, you guys. I don't think we're going to make it to 60. Oh, no. Right now, we have Countess Lix that's been eaten. <laughs> She's about to get eaten. <laughs> and then we have Duchess and Sothalia left. Oh, Duchess could be the last one standing. All right, guys. And it all fell apart very quickly. Duchess is the last one standing. Whoever predicted under 60 mil is going to win a lot of camels in here. And what do we end up at? 55? There it is. 55.4 million damage. With Cecilia doing a spicy 27 million damage. We have Korgar who did one and a half mil. Which again... You know, that's to be expected. He's support, right? He's an HP champ. But look at that. Ashlon at 12, Cecilia at 27. 
Very, very nice. Now, so obviously with that, they one keyed it. You asked, thank you so much for letting us showcase Korgor, guys. Leave me some comments down below on if you have him and where are you using him? And thank you so much.